Expert Home Making Tips, Presenting Essential House Cleaning Tips The acid in vinegar, makes it a good preventive wash, for areas where mildew might form. To remove discoloration, from a yellowed bathtub, rub the tub with a solution of salt and turpentine. So that you don't have to guess, when trying to mix correct solutions of cleaning compounds, use red fingernail polish, to plainly mark pint, quart, and gallon levels, inside a bucket. Dust and other debris, often collect in hard to reach corners, such as behind large appliances, but you can reach easily into these corners, with a yardstick. Make a yardstick duster, by covering the end with a sock, secured with rubber bands, or by fastening a small sponge to the end of the yardstick, with staples or rubber bands. You can eliminate tiny scratches on glass, by polishing the affected areas with toothpaste. A portable blow dryer, can soften wax that has dripped onto wooden surfaces. Wipe away the wax with a paper towel, and then rinse the area, with a mixture of vinegar and water. Dry thoroughly. You can get stale odors out of sponges, by washing them in the dishwasher, or by soaking them overnight, in a bowl of bleach, and rinsing them well, the next morning. Make an efficient cleaning apron, from a compartmented shoe bag, by attaching strings and filling the pockets with rags, polishes, brushes, and other lightweight supplies. Old toothbrushes can be put to good use, as hair dye applicators, or as cleaning brushes, for silverware and combs. To clean your radiators, Hang a damp cloth behind the radiator, then blow on the radiator with a hair dryer, to force hidden dirt and dust onto the damp cloth. An automobile snow brush, is perfect for cleaning under a refrigerator. If you're tired of buying new dust mops, because the old ones get dirty so quickly, cover your mop with an old nylon stocking. When the stocking gets soiled, simply discard it and replace it with another. When a spray bottle's suction tube doesn't reach the liquid, because most of the liquid has been used up, drop marbles or pebbles, into the bottle, until the level of the liquid rises enough to cover the end of the tube. Dusting Want to dust furniture quick as a flash? Dampen two old cotton gloves, or socks with furniture polish, slip them over your hands, and then dust with both hands. Instead of buying dust cloths, chemically treated to attract dust, make your own from cheesecloth. Dip the cloth in a solution of two cups of water, and one quarter cup of lemon oil, and allow it to dry before using. Paint brushes make excellent dusters, for small or hard to reach areas. Flick them along door jams, around windows, and into corners, where dust cloths won't fit. To avoid snagging or harming delicate fabric, when dusting ruffled or pleated lamp shades, use an old shaving brush, or a baby's hair brush. The bristles are soft and effective. Vacuuming You can use a straightened wire hanger, to unclog a jammed vacuum cleaner hose. Leave a small hook at the end of the hanger, and maneuver it back and forth, then, see if the hose is free of debris, by dropping a coin through it. If the coin rolls out the other end, you're ready to vacuum again. If it doesn't, you'll have to maneuver the hanger some more. Another way to unclog a vacuum cleaner hose, is to push an ordinary garden hose through it. 
it's annoying to discover that the vacuum cord doesn't extend as far as you need it to. Rather than have to look for other wall sockets, usually located behind furniture, just add an extension to your cleaner's present cord. To prevent a dust cloud from forming, empty a vacuum cleaner bag into a large plastic garbage bag, hold the mouth of the bag shut, as you dump the dust inside it. It's best to empty vacuum cleaner bags, when they're about two-thirds full, a full bag reduces suction power. Mend a torn reusable vacuum cleaner bag, by pressing iron on patches over the tears. You can vacuum dust and lint, from mops and brooms, by holding them under the hose attachment. Furniture Leftover tea, makes a good cleaning agent, for varnished furniture. While waxing furniture, also wax the insides of ashtrays. This makes them easier to clean. Rub walnut or pecan meat, over scratches in finished wood, the oil often hides them. Liquid shoe polish, often covers scratches, too. Wear cotton gloves, to avoid leaving fingerprints, while polishing furniture. After polishing furniture, sprinkle on a little cornstarch, and rub to a high gloss. Cornstarch absorbs oil, and leaves a glistening, fingerprint-free surface. To treat scratches on natural wood, or antique finishes, polish with a mixture of equal amounts of turpentine, and boiled linseed oil. Apply with a clean, soft, damp cloth. Any scratch made by a match, can be removed by rubbing it, with a lemon wedge. Pictures When cleaning picture glass, carefully dust the glass, and then polish it with tissues, sold for cleaning eyeglasses. Avoid liquid cleaners, because they could seep under the edge of the glass, and spoil the photo or artwork. If you do use liquid cleaners, apply them to a cloth, never directly to the glass. To make a tarnished gilt frame, gleam again, wipe it with a rag dampened with turpentine. To avoid damaging a picture or painting, when polishing its wooden frame, spray the polish on a cloth, not on the frame, and then carefully apply to the frame. To clean deeply carved picture frames, use a clean, dry, plastic squeeze bottle, pumping the bottle like a small bellows to blow dust from tiny crevices. Luggage. Do you have black scuff marks on your luggage? They'll rub off with lemon extract. Clean colored leather luggage, with mild soap suds and a damp sponge or soft nap cloth. The best way to clean regular leather luggage is to use a soft, clean rag to rub in a few drops of baby shampoo a small area at a time. Repeat until all surfaces are covered. Use the same cloth, to buff the luggage to a natural sheen. Books To keep vinyl and imitation leather covered books looking good as new, wash them periodically with a mild detergent, and then treat with a light coat of petroleum jelly, or a vinyl dressing. Treat leather-bound books periodically with a light oil, so that the leather won't dry out and crack. If you arrange books at the front of shelves, air will be able to circulate and prevent mustiness. Protect books from direct sunlight, because it can fade the bindings, and cause them to deteriorate. 
In order to remove grease stains from books, rub the affected areas with soft, white bread crumbs. Sprinkle damp book pages, with talcum powder or cornstarch, until the moisture is absorbed, then shake or brush the powder away. That's all folks, thank you for watching, if you like this video, please subscribe.